excited for today? Yes, it's our LOD alumni brunch. Oh, I can't believe it's finally here. Yes, I'm excited to see all the girls that we've been able to help in the past eight years and bring LOD to a closing. Oh my God, I am so excited. <laughs> I feel like tears are gonna be shed. Moments yep. are gonna be brought back up. We're gonna relive, feel everything. Like, I'm ready to go. Like, yes. let's go. Let's, let's get, get in, in here. here. I'm Dr. Carey, um, a lot of y'all know me as Coach Carter, um, and I started LOD in 2012. Today is just a dialogue day to talk about your experience, um, things you like, things that can help us improve in the future. My question is, what is your name, and how long were you a part of LOD? So, of course, I'm Miss Lauren, and I want to say it was 2015 that I joined LOD as the director Hello, my name is Khadijah Turner and I am 19 years old and I have been in the program for four years. I started in 2016. Um, I have a lot of advice to give to a young lady that would like to join the program. First and foremost, when I joined the program, I was really shy. I had this shell. I, I, like, I held back some actions that I wanted to achieve just because I was always so scared of who would judge me, how they would judge me, what they would have to say. So I was always quiet in my own shell. And I've grown a lot, if you know me, I've grown so much. I can talk to anybody, I can communicate with different people. And um, one of the reasons, the first reason why I believe a young lady should join the program is because you build a real sisterhood. And nowadays it's hard to find genuine people that's real, real and raw off of social media. And here it's a sisterhood, it's a bond. You know, you grow with other girls the same age as you. A second reason why I would advise a young lady to join the program is because it's also networking opportunities that you do have. For example, the conferences. It's a great way entrepreneurs, um, you know, to take leadership, get a, get a little um, hands-on action with other young ladies. The third reason, I just feel like you find yourself. You grow. You grow in so many ways that you don't even realize. You can do these icebreaker opportunities. I found out some things that I didn't, I never knew about myself just with like the traits and characteristics that I have and that I had to break. Your goals become more clear when you have independent and inspiring women on your team. And I just feel like my goals, I'll, I've had, I have goals, I've always had goals, but it wasn't clear and I needed some guidance from um, Dr. Carter and Miss Lauren on how to get to where I needed to be in the future and where I'm at today. I needed advice, I needed a role model. Looking forward five years from now, what would my future self advise me to do now? I would say my future self would advise me to just stay humble, stay on the right track, don't lose focus, and prepare for your future because I have a lot ahead of me and I want a lot out of life. I'm Michaela Clayton. I've been in LOD. I was in LOD for four years, and the things I benefited from LOD were learning how to be in a sisterhood, learning how to express myself more and learning how to be a, a leader and not a follower. It says, what do I value now? What do I value most now that wasn't the case before? What changed? I value my happiness more than me now. Because even if I had like a happy face, I wasn't really happy. But now I can say I'm, I'm getting here. So. Can I ask like what changed? Was it just graduating from high school and being able to live the life that you really want to live? Or yeah, it was like graduating, not hanging out with all the people that I used to hang out with. Like I only hang out with Shanti mm -hmm. <laughs> or my coworkers. Like that's it. <laughs> and I think that was more than anything. Like all the negativities out of my life. Okay, my name is Shanti Smack, and I was in LOD for three years. I feel like the benefits that I got from joining LOD, it, it helped me expand my leadership skills and my social skills and then also it just, it broke me out of my shell. I was really shy and I feel like LOD exposed me to just learning how to be myself comfortably, if that makes sense. <laughs> my question is, what is one thing that LOD really wanted you to experience? 
before I joined LOD, I was like, I don't want to say I was shy, but it took me a minute to warm up to people, you know? And I feel like LOD kind of, well, didn't kind of completely got rid of that. Because I feel like I can just, I'm able to like approach someone and just be myself, like, without, I guess, feeling like they're going to judge me. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, and then also I feel like LED really just wanted me to be successful, like no matter what it was, they just wanted me to believe in myself. And I say they as in like the girls that were in the group, plus Miss Lauren and Dr. Carter. My name is Kiera Feeney. Um, I started the program when I was um, a sophomore at LBJ High School. I'm now currently a freshman in college, so three years I was in the program and I'm now an alumni of the program. So um, my best advice to a girl that should join LOD is because it's a great sisterhood. I mean, it's an amazing sisterhood. They're always there for you. They, whenever you need them, they're gonna be there. Um, I feel like it's another great opportunity for girls who need to come out of their shell or who don't have any friends or just need somebody to um, talk to or just be with. So I feel like um, LOD is a great sisterhood for young women to join and I feel like this is the best thing that ever happened to me so far. If you have the chance to join LOD, I believe every young lady should join LOD. Who in my life gives me the most energy? What would they tell me right now? Okay. How is my mom? She tries me to do best and with this college thing, she's been pushing me and pushing me and I've been doing my absolute great. So I feel like my mom, like she's my whole support system. So, big props to her. Okay. Okay, hi, my name is Asia Scott and I've been in LOD for three and a half years. I started LOD my freshman year, the second semester um, of 2016. And I feel like some benefits of LOD is just having a sisterhood like when I came in I know I was like very shy and like for example one of my friends told me when I was in middle school it's like I used to whisper like I thought I was being loud but when I talk it's like I was whispering and nobody could hear me but being in LOD it, it, it made me become a better person. It says in what area have you grown the most in since high school and I really don't know but if I would have to choose, I would say, like, self-growth. I really didn't have a lot of time to focus on myself in high school. Like, it was just school, ACC, just a lot of stuff going on, and I also had sports to deal with. So, like, now that I'm just, like, school and being a mother, it's just, I have a lot of time to myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that time is valuable. Amen. Uh, but. My name is Marianne Hastings. I was the first president for LOD at LBJ. LOD was a like it was a very uh, monumental time for me in high school because um, at high school is hard. It's already hard just trying to navigate yourself as an individual and trying to figure out who you are, let alone being a woman of color and not having a lot of representation already. So LOD helped you find your role model or find your true self a little bit or at least navigated to you, navigated you in the right path to find yourself. When I joined LOD, like my personality was the same back then. So I'm, I've always been outspoken. I've always been like energetic, um, but I've never really been open and um, receptive to people like getting to know a, a more serious side of me um, just because I have my own like um, coping mechanisms, you know, to keep me protected from certain things in society that can sometimes hurt you. But LOD helped me open up and it, it let me know it's okay to have a community. Like a lot of times you hear how you have to be strong and you have to do stuff for yourself and, you know, depend on yourself, which you should, but it's also good to be a part of a community that understands you too, because there's a lot of things in growing up as a female that is so confusing and it, it having a group of girls that's going through the same processes as you or similar processes as you in high school or in middle school or whatever phase you're in it just kind of it does it makes you feel like you're not alone so and it also builds you to be like an independent strong woman in a society that's kind of geared towards men so 
I can sit in meetings now, like in corporate meetings at my job, and the majority of the team are men, and I can still feel sure of myself as a woman that I have a seat at this table, and I know, and my place is here, and I work for it. My daddy went through a lot of stuff. He was a single father raising two girls by himself. So he tried his best in trying to learn how to raise two black girls mm -hmm. properly. But also, like, he was going to school, working three jobs, and then was fighting stage for lung cancer. And that uh, time frame, and that's when I had joined LOD. So that time frame was really hard for me. But seeing how that man pushed through, that's probably the most inspiring thing I have. Personally, and it was still raising three beautiful girls. Oh, and Syria was our very first president of LOD. So, yep, she will ever have a special place in my heart. It's gonna be reminiscent about all the years. <laughs> <laughs> very first, and we started off with what seven girls, mm -hmm. six, seven girls. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it grew fast, and it grew, yeah.